soccer. Throughout history, in all parts of the world, people have played games by kicking balls. There are ancient books showing that people played a kind of football called kuju over 4,000 years ago in China. The rules for the modern game were written by the Football Association FA in England in 1863. The group that organizes the World Cup is called FIFA, Federation Internationale de Football Association. The game was originally called Association Football, but in the 1880s, some people took the letters SOC from the word association and made up another word for the game soccer. Soccer is played by old and young people. Let's look at the activity. How well do you know soccer? Number one, close your life orientation textbooks. Number two, your teacher will read you a set of questions that you have to work out the answers on your own. Number three, when it is your turn to answer, give the best possible answers your teacher will tell you if it is correct or not. Activity two, play soccer. Number one, divide yourselves into equal teams. If the field is big enough, you can have 11 players in each team. If you have a smaller area, make your teams smaller. Number two, the most important part of your field is the goals. You can put something soft like jerseys on the ground to show the left and right sides of the goals. Number three, choose one of your classmates to be the referee. Number four, play and enjoy. Questions for activity one asked by your teacher. Number one, in one sentence describe the aim of soccer. Number two, how many people are in each team? Number three, who is the only player allowed to touch the ball with their hands while playing? Number four, what are the differences between a goal kick and a corner kick? Number five, what is the differences between a free kick and a penalty kick? Number six, when is a tackle called a foul? Number seven, when is a player offside? Answers for activity one. Number one, to score a goal by kicking or heading the ball into the opposing team's goal. Number two, 11. Number three, the goalkeeper. Number four, a goal kick is taken by the defending team when the ball has crossed the goal line without a goal having been scored and having last been touched by a player of the attacking team. The goal kick is taken from inside the penalty area by any one of the defending team. A corner kick is taken by the attacking team while the ball has crossed the goal line without a goal having been scored and having last been touched by a player of the defending team. The corner kick is taken from the corner by any one of the attacking team.